today's the day. Today's the day the Valley goes to play their lower bracket game. And there's gonna only be two, two endings to this story, for today at least. Either the Valley gets washed, <laughs> defeated, swept through the dirt, or they do the same to burn X Flash. Either way, it's gonna be a great game, hopefully. The most exciting part of all of this is that I'm gonna be doing play-by-play -play over these games. Is that I will be casting either the rise or fall of the valley, and I promise you all it'll be completely unbiased. If they get if they get destroyed, I will yell about it. If they win, I will yell about it. Ken Konicky, what's up? Why? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yo, check out the drip. Ooh. Ooh. Call me Onyx Trex, bro. Call me Onyx Trex. Eesh. Eesh. Bro, so I, I'm super dumb. I don't record that much stuff. I wish I did, um, like out and about. I bought this, I bought this jersey, right? And then at, at the Onyx stand when you buy, or I bought this jacket, at the Onyx stand when you buy something, they have this big bundle of strings. And you get to like pull a string and the strings are all taped up, but then on the bottom they're all hanging and some of them are attached to, um, some of them are attached. <laughs> Our CUNY boss. <laughs> back, back, back. Um, some of them are attached to prizes like in game diamonds, other trash stuff, and then you get like jerseys and other stuff. Cool. So I pull mine and I win a fucking pair of joggers, bro. It was hype. It was super hype. So I'm on second shift today, so I have some time to hang out. I actually need to like study and stuff and on Nick Trex, man. On Nick Trex. I'm gonna be their roamer, guys. You traitor. <laughs> Onic Trex, bro. Onic Trex. Todak Trex, bro. Todak Trex. Akira Trex, bro. Akira Trex. Oh, nah, you gotta go. I am casting today. I'm casting second shift. I'll be casting the Valley game. The Valley and, uh, and Malvinas. RQ tracks, bro. The Valley, dude. Um, I do have Echo merch coming. I got a Letterman jacket, but you have, I got a varsity jacket, but you have to like pre-order it. They're gonna have them on the 15th. Unless they just stole my money, I don't know. But yeah. Echo would probably dismantle the valley. Let's just be real here. You're probably right. Last night? No, last night was not my last time casting and today will not be my last time casting. Ken Konicky, I, I love you, Ken. I love you, bro. But like, and I love the Valley. I love NA. But like, Echo and Onik are just different fucking beasts right now. They're really just monsters right now. 
Valley ain't losing. <laughs> Hopefully not. I Trust me, I would love... I, I said it from the beginning. Top eight, top four, I'm happy with the Valley. Top eight, I'm happy with the Valley. Top four, I'm ecstatic for the Valley. Um, as long as they can get to top eight, though, I'm happy. I never expected them to come. I mean, I, I think there was like a chance. I, I said it before. I was like maybe like a 30% chance they could win this whole thing. 40%, 30%. They could win this whole thing. I'm really upset that Todak lost last night, bro. Is Team Hawk better than Todak? I mean, they beat, I know, we all know they beat them in, uh, in MPL, but like, the thing is, is like, Team Hawk, bro. They did really good against RQ. Or was it R, no, it wasn't RQ. It wasn't RQ, my bad. It was uh, Echo. They did really good against Echo, right? Am I getting mixed up right now? Apart from the Valley, which NA teams do you think can compete? Wait, which other, apart from the Valley, which NA teams do you think can compete with other M4 teams? Um, um, I think, all right, so let's put it this way. If the Simpsons had a solid roster and they didn't get nervous on stage, I think they could compete. I think, uh, I don't know how Ackerman's doing. Who's jungling for Ackerman right now, guys? I haven't followed much NA stuff. Who's jungling for Ackerman right now? Bush. So like, here's the thing, right? Yeah, New Wave. I, I honestly think New Wave just blew it in the draft. But like, but that's a thing, right? If you can't, if you blow it in the draft sometimes, then you can't compete against M4 teams. That's where I think so many people forget, man. That's what makes M4 and big things so different. That's what makes it so different, man. That draft. And like, and that's why I don't know if, I'll, like honestly, until, un, until I start seeing some teams with coaches here, I just don't know if we'll ever be able to take home a trophy. That's the sad truth. That's, the, that's just the reality, right? Um, Also, what else? I don't really want to get into the whole wolf coach thing. None of us know all the exacts about it, not even G. So I know there was some offers to people helping over here. None of them would have been full-time coaches. It would have been... None of them would have like coached. None of them would have been on stage drafting with the Valley. That's the thing, right? Because like Wolf was gonna cast. Um, but some agreements couldn't get made. There was also, I don't know. I don't wanna get into it because I don't know what's true or not. Like I've had some parties tell me that this is what happened. I've had some parties tell me that this is what happened. I've had some people say that there was some stuff behind the scenes. Nothing with Wolf, like I don't think I think Wolf was completely innocent in all of this, but like I've just heard, you know, I, I try to stay very apart from all that because like, I would like there to not be drama, but you know, you know how it gets.
Wolf is definitely one of the smartest analysts out there. <laughs> but what I mean about like other teams, like right now, the reason why I say like Ackerman or some of these other teams are like the Simpsons is because they have assassin junglers. Until Zane, Zane has two choices next year, right? Zane has two choices next year, I feel like. He needs to either, after this event, he's gonna need to either switch to the gold lane and just become full-time marksman, or he needs to learn Ling, Lance, Fanny. He just needs to. He needs to spend like three months, three or four months just practicing assassins. That's just the reality of it. Um, my predictions for today are, my predictions for today are, where are they? We have to send them into the team. Uh, RSG, Incendio, The Valley, Malvinas. That's my predictions for today. Russell, stop spamming, bro. All right, I'm, I gotta hide you now, bro. I can't just time you out. I gotta hide you. I gotta ban you. I gotta do some bullshit like that. I don't know. I, I honestly, like, for the game coming up, I, I, I know that the Valley can win. I just don't know if they will. I know they can. Like, who else said it? I just, I just saw a clip online. Hachoo! Hold on. Hachoo! I just saw a clip online. Um, Oheb talking about the Valley. Talking about, he's, he's like, I know they're strong, but they need to fix their gameplay. He's like, I, people were asking me, he's like, he's, he's like, I know the Valley's strong, bro, but they need to fix their gameplay. Like, everyone knows they're good. They're just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Just a quick reminder to everybody, if you're just jumping in, click the like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Um... Donations are also open if you want to be awesome or if you want to become a member of the channel. It's only $2.99. Uh, you get exclusive emotes, and I'm sure in the future I'll have a lot more exclusive stuff coming out. So feel free to do that. Basic is still a gold laner. So the Valley doesn't have an identity. I know, like, there's just... It seems like everybody on the team is, like, I don't know. They don't feel like a team from what I know. Ritz with the membership. I didn't get a notification on that. That's weird. When did you become a member? Tell Mara to marry me. Yo, Mara's really cool. Mara's really cool. Everybody's so cool, bro. Not gonna lie. Benny Cutie, the man, the god. Benny Cutie is a freaking monster, bro. Dude's a, a, a godly, bro, dude's a beast. Dude's a beast. He's a, he's insane. <laughs> Favorite moment in M4 so far? Um, oh, that's tough. That wild charge from Grok, bro, hold on. The game I was casting.
That wild charge on Grok in the mid lane from um, from uh, it was game one, the first Onik from Onik against um, bro. It's been long days. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having mind blanks right now. You guys are catching me off guard. Um, mid lane wild charge from Grok against uh, who the fuck? Did the, why am I having such a mind blank right now? Falcon vs. Onik, yeah. There's a highlight of it. I just yell out, oh my, this one right here. That's the target, right? Naomi 2 is something that they have to worry about, but now, oh, Ken taking a lot of damage, crossbow tank does finish it off. Justin trying to find something here, uses that. Oh my god! Justin and Zipex annihilated with a beautiful wild charge. Oh my god! Kyrie. I don't know. <laughs> I'll take them off. So when I do play-by-play, -play, I'll take them off. But yesterday when I'm anchoring, they have to be on. Because we have to read prompts from, this, from a teleprompt from a screen a bit away. And I have to be able to do like the M4 pass, da 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 da. And like an anchor, like when I'm doing play by play, it's not as critical. But when I'm doing anchor, like I have to be able to do it very cleanly. And I had to wear the glasses yesterday. Bro, the dude word has gotten famous among talent. Yes, it is kind of funny, bro. Every, all, it's like literally a meme for all of us. It's like, dude, dude, dude. Valley, dude. I'm sorry if I'm missing some of your comments, guys. What is your favorite flavor in pod? Oh, uh... I don't really, uh, nicotine. Nicotine's my favorite flavor. I don't, I, I'm so past the point of caring what, what it tastes like. I've got a real problem, guys. I need to quit smoking. I smoked cigarettes. I smoked two packs a day for a long time, guys. This is the only crutch I have left. I don't drink, I don't smoke weed, I don't do any drugs. I have them for five and a half years. This is the only thing I really need to kick. <laughs> they go straight to the airport. <laughs> no, they don't go straight to the airport. That'd be so sad, bro. All right, you lost. Now get on the plane. You've lost. Get on the plane. If you see Trek sweating, it's because of the nicotine with <laughs> Bro, no, it's just hot. It's hot up there on that caster desk. <laughs> Which match do I cast today? I cast the Valley Dude and the Malvinas game. I cast Malvinas Occupy Thrones and the Valley versus Burn X Flash. Second shift. Take a nap, you know, all that good stuff. The Valley is playing today, yes, against Burn X Flash, and it's do or die. Who is simping Mara? None of the casters, we're all like, we're all friends. I'm doing play-by-play -play today, yes. You didn't see me with Elodia, you saw G with Elodia. I'm more, I would say if it was Mara or Elodia, Elodia Simp. Elodia Simp. But they're all pretty, come on. They're all gorgeous women. Very nice too. Like, I think the coolest thing, 
I'm casually simping tricks. I think the coolest thing is that everyone's just like so cool. Like first time meeting Mara, we, when we were riding our first uh, shuttle on day one, or maybe it was for rehearsals, we were sitting next to each other and we were just chatting for a while, talking, and like super, she was super cool. Like everybody's just super down to earth, no like big egos, no like weird assholes or anything like that. Like everybody's just super cool, at least on the English side. And honestly, I've met like Manjing, all these other guys from the Indo desk, Momo Chan, they're all super cool too. LaFell's nuts, but I love him to death. He's, he's crazy, but I, he's like just such a great guy. Moba Slam, what's up, what's up, what's up? Oh man. Ugh. Why no private in Indo, bro? He didn't get the, he didn't, so like, G also, G flew himself out. He had to pay for his own flight, but they paid for everything else um, since he wasn't a caster. Private didn't get, they only brought me and Dave to cast. Um, so Private didn't get the invite. If Private would have flown himself out, I'm sure they would have paid for everything else. I'm sure he could have done KOL, like G is. My favorite food in Indo so far. Um, I like the beef, anything with beef. Beef, like the beef saute and veggies and stuff with, uh, with rice. Bro, the Onyx jacket, it's so dope. It's so dope. Hello, sir, you did well. More loud voice and confident, thank you. Bro, last, so I wasn't, so day one, when I did, here we go, so quick story time, guys. Day one, when I did play-by-play, -play, I was not nervous at all. I was like, ready to go. It was play-by-play. -play. I didn't have too much on my plate. I was a little... Of course, it was like a little different. And like during the draft, I spaced out a little bit. But um, but in game, I was I was in there, right? Day two yesterday, when I, I had to do anchor yesterday, and I got nervous. Because anchor, you're like really controlling the desk. Like we're like giving, like I have to like give cues. Like when we're not on camera, I'm like, all right, you're up next. All right, you're up next. Um, things like that. I have to do all of the intro and all the ad libs and stuff like that. And it was a lot more nerve wracking. And like for the first part, I was fucking nervous. I was much more nervous than I was doing play by play. Um, like my heart didn't beat fast for, for, day, for day one. Day two, my heart beat fast a little bit before we started. And then after day one, after the first game of uh, Blacklist of Blacklist Akira, I was all good. After the first game, we had a little powwow. I talked with Naisu and Eterna and et cetera, et cetera. And I was, it was all good. And things just, the, the desk got much smoother. Because the anchor is the anchor of the desk. Like I'm holding everything down. And if I don't control things, then the other two are gonna have a rough time as well. So like they explained that to me and I just took a bit more control. And after that, I think things went really smooth. How do you stay awake to their time zone? I don't know, I just do. I just do. M4 wasn't made for angels like you. I gotta blow my nose real quick, guys. I have to study, guys. You guys wanna study with me?
You guys want to do a quick study session with me? We already know everything about the valley, but now we have to learn about Burnex Flash. And uh, Malvinas. And um, Occupy Thrones. Eterna or Mara? Um, they're both wonderful women. They're both great. I'm gonna share the stream real fast. Hold on a second, guys. Bro, Naisu's so nice, what do you mean? Naisu's like, Naisu's probably one of the people I'm closest to here. He like genuinely cares, I feel like, how I cast. Like he gives me a lot of like things and he's like, he's like everything I tell you is stuff people told me or I wish would have told me early on. And like, he's like, cause he told it to me last night. He's like, he's like, yo, anytime I ever critique you or anything, he's like, he's like, the reason why, and he was like, I want you to anchor. Like yesterday he was like, I want you to anchor cause you need to learn how to anchor. Cause it's hard, it's different. And he was like, cause the thing is, is you're gonna go back to NA and whether NACT becomes big, they get an MPL, like you're gonna be the guy that has to kind of lead a lot of the newer casters. You're gonna be the one that knows, that has gathered all this knowledge on how a real broadcast desk is supposed to work. Cause like essentially what we're doing in NA is nothing close to like what's happening over here. Like it's, it's just different, right? Um, I mean, we do, it's it, it, like we're close, but like, we still have a long way to go in terms of our broadcast um, and in terms of our talent and casters. So like, so he's just like, the reason I'm trying to like build you up is because I want you to go back there and, you know, make, make a good broadcast desk and stuff like that. So, so it's been really cool. Nice has been awesome. I gotta share the stream real quick. I gotta share the stream. Onyx versus Echo. That is, I don't even know, bro. How do you sleep? Is it good? Honestly, so I stayed up like the two nights, two nights before I flew out, I stayed up. I stayed up like almost all night and I only got like three hours of sleep both of those nights. <laughs> And then I slept on the plane a whole bunch on my flight here. Like within that 20, within that 24 hours of flight, I probably got about nine to 10 hours. So then when I got here on the set, I got here at 7 a.m. and I just stayed up all day. And then I went to sleep at night. I woke the first two nights, I woke up the first two nights, I woke up at 3 a.m. one night and then went back to sleep. And then the second day I woke up at, I, I continuously woke up at like 7 a.m. whether I went to sleep late or not. Um, and now I'm sleeping in, so now I'm doing good. But I didn't like, like today I slept in until 10 and I felt like a bum. I don't like sleeping in that late. I don't really want to get more than eight hours of sleep. Like that's a lot, eight hours, like pa anything past eight hours is too much. I feel like I wasted a lot of time. We are live, guys, so click the link and tune in. Say hello. The link and tune in. Say hello. We are live, guys, so click the link and tune in. Say hello. We are live, guys, so click the link and tune in. Say hello. We are live. Boom. Onik beating Falcon. Um... I think it really, for me, it doesn't say anything bad about Falcon exactly. I think it just goes to show how strong Onik really is. Like, the way they beat them, the way they picked them apart, the way they destroyed them, it just goes to show, honestly, like, how strong Onik is this, this year. It's insane. 
Like, I did not expect, like, even when Falcon, Falcon was winning in some of those games, like, early on, and Onik just came back. Like, so many teams have trouble coming back from, like, a 3K gold deficit, and Onik does not. Blacklist, I mean, of course, Blacklist can repeat, but it's definitely not going to be easy, right? Like, my eyes right now are definitely Echo, Onik, Blacklist. Uh, Falcon as well. Falcon's, like, I think, AS tier. Um, like, Echo, Echo and Onik are, like, S++ to me right now. But also, Blacklist is, after watching Blacklist last night and just stuff like that, like, I still think... Uh, Onik, I mean, Blacklist is like S++. Those are like the three tops, I think. Um, RQ did play good yesterday. They have a good chance for top four, for sure. Good chance for top four. I think I'm gonna have some tea. I need tea. Oh no, wait, I have Red Bull. I need a Red Bull. Benny's QD performance was phenomenal. He's one of the best marksmen in the world right now. Point blank. I think he might be better than Oheb right now. But I don't know, man. Oheb, Oheb last night was really good too. Even though they were against Akira, so like... But like, we got to see Oheb play uh, the carry. And I was wondering if he had like, you know... Because I feel like an ISF and then... Um, and the MPLI and stuff, it took a little bit of time. Yo, I love the bits on the on the analyst desk right now. I feel like having the three people on the analyst now and like having some of those little like jokiness is like very entertaining and I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. I think it's a really good layer that we've added. You will go to Bali with the an A gang after M4? No, I'm not going to Bali. I have to go home and work and get back to real life. This is all just a fairy tale. Kel All right, so yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Kelra, I watch, I watch CMPLs. Kelra's a monster. Kelra is definitely a monster. I because I'm talking about M4 right now, but you're right. Kel, like when I talk about some of the best gold laners in the world, Kelra is definitely godly. I remember watching um, Kelra's Omega, right? Kelra's Omega. I remember watching them. Um, uh, he like one v two'd someone with a wan wan, and it was just freaking. When you are not casting, what do you do for a living? I work in restaurants. We have to study, guys. We have to study. I can cook, yeah. Trex the housewife, shut up. Basic is definitely not as good as Oheb, Skylar, Kelra. Yes, this is, or Benny Cutie. This is, this is easy to say. A lot of people aren't as good as them. Like no gold lane. I, I, I think Benny Cutie and Oheb are the two best gold laners in, in M4 right now. So it's not like you're really, it's not like that's much of a statement. I've thought, I. Because I have a family. I can't stay in Asia. I would love... Bro, if I was... If, 
if I didn't have like, you know, a family that I love and care about, then um, I would, uh, I would stay here. Super Saiyan Gaming, thank you for the donation. You are amazing casting, good luck Valley. The Valley, dude. Thank you for the donation, man. Two dollars, I really appreciate it. Molly, dude. All right. You think M series need a last chance qualifiers, like two slots for C, one Americas, one EU for 20 teams in M5? I do think it would be cool to add some more regions. We were, I was talking to some of the casters about it. Um, I think if we added, if they added more slots, what they would have to do though, is in the group stage, people would have to get knocked out. Like you would still just have 16 teams in the, uh, in the bracket. But what you would do maybe is like in the group stage, the, the lowest scoring person would get knocked out. Like you, if you did like 20 teams, you could have groups of five. You could have four groups of five or five groups of four. And the lowest person thing would, would get bumped. Group stage best of three? That would be so long though, bro. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I know where you're going with it, but it'd just be a really long group stage. Like, it'd be too long. Cause it's a round robin. Casting has been awesome, Drome C. It's been everything I expected it to be. I can't wait to do play by play tonight. I'm doing play-by-play -play tonight, guys. If you don't know, I'll be casting uh, The Valley versus Burn X Flash and Malvinas versus Occupy Thrones. Maybe best of two. That could be something. And it's not like win or lose, but you get like a point for each win. Like two matches and you get a point for each win. Uh, 7, 7 p.m., I think is when I start. So 7 a.m. American time. You're gonna have to take a nap and wake up. Nicholas and Brian, the, it's, it's awesome, it's awesome. What merch do we got? We got the Onyx jacket. Call me Onyx Trex, boys. Call me Onyx Trex. Onyx Trex, bo. Onyx Trex, boss. We got the Akira, the Brazil. We got the Todak. I'm gonna probably grab a Team Hack jersey because Team Hack, bro. We got the RQ. Bro, the Onyx merch was actually decently priced. This was only 450, 450,000. So it was only like 30 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks. Which is honestly like decent. For a jacket, it was cheap. Who's the better NA caster, Dave or you? Um, four hundred fifty k. So like they do rupias, rupi rupia, which is like um, like fifteen thousand is a dollar. So like one point three mil is a hundred dollars. Um, it's yeah. We're both great casters. I think um, Dave's a better host. Dave's a better host. 
I'm a better play by play and uh and maybe analysis. I don't know. But Dave's a good caster. Dave's Dave's a good caster, man. Like he is. Dave's a great caster. I think once you become a certain level of casting, there's not really like a skill. It's not like who's better. It's just like everyone kind of has their own flavor. Like LaFell's kind of funny and crazy and like you can't really compare. You know what I'm saying? Like different people are it's just about getting to that level, or, or like, for example, Naisu. Naisu has a very like professional style. Even his play-by-play, -play, he's not like a speed caster. He's more like, almost like a football announcer or like, um, you know, like he's just more like, it's, he's a bit slower, but it still sounds really good. And he has like perfected that. And it's very, I was telling him last time, like, bro, honestly, like three or four months ago when I used to hear Naisu cast, I wondered if he was ever really gonna be able to play by play well, just cause he's so professional and his style of casting is so different. And after hearing him last night, I told him, I was like, bro, I told him exactly what I just said. I was like, I was like, I used to wonder if you were really ever gonna be able to like play by play. And honestly, you've coined your own style so well and you've mastered it. And now I really like his play by play. Cause it's not like everybody else. And it just sounds, um, it's different, but it's good. <laughs> Does Trex have contract with Moonton? I'm technically freelancer, no. No no permanent contract. I would take a permanent contract if they were gonna if, if it could pay my bills. <laughs> what would they sign me for though? You know what I'm saying? Like what would they sign me for? Trex for M5. We're definitely gonna, as long as, uh, as long as NA keeps growing in esports, then I should, I mean, I feel like it's a good possibility to go to M5, right? The Echo Jacket comes in the 15th. If, if MPL NA comes, then yes, I would get a contract, I believe. Onik, Echo, Blacklist, Falcon, RQ. Can't count Team Hack or Todak out. Can't count either of the Malaysian teams out just yet. Yeah, I pre you had to pre-order it at their stand, and then they come in on the 15th, the Jackets, the Echo Varsities. Valley doesn't have a booth. A few teams don't have booths. Like MDH doesn't have a booth. Occupy, Incendio. Um, pretty much all of the non-Asian teams <laughs> don't have booths. New subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys are just coming in, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're really feeling feisty, become a member on the channel. You get exclusive access to a few um, stickers that I made personally. And, uh, and yeah, there'll be a lot more stuff coming. It's 12.27. Guys, I have to study. I have to study. Liquipedia. I need a pen. I guess I'll just write it on my phone. I am casting today, yes. My feet are cold. Four teams exit today, I know. I have to study the teams for today. Like where everybody is, some things to make, some, some talking points. I don't have flashcards. Research time, exactly. Research time. When is the next upper bracket game? Um, I have to check the schedule. Huh. 
I think I have eaten satay. So we have Burnex Flash. Let's we'll look at them first. Hess has an import from pH. Hess has Gold Lane. D7's Romer. Ccat is middle, is mid. ATM EXP lane. I need a pen, yo. I need a pen. Guys, feel free to give me talking points. Feel free to give me talking points. I, I know everything about, um, I, I, I got a pen. I, I know plenty about the Valley, so I just need to know Burnex Flash stuff. Send donos for a pen, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I have a pen. I just need something to write on now. All right. We're good. We're good. People say that. People used to say that. I look kind of like Peter Bai. All right, so burn. I'm roommates with Dave, yes. Meowba, welcome to that dude, because you are now that dude. Welcome to becoming a member, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New member! Let's go! What's up, dude? Okay, so we think a lot is going to rely on Hessa, right? Coach Zico. Did Coach Zico used to... What did Coach Zico used to coach for? Who did he used to coach for? Everybody. Blacklist, Onyx, NXP. Next play, next play, next play. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. <laughs> Who did Hessa play for? How to become a member? There should be a button somewhere on the stream. Maybe you have to exit out of the chat and click. It's like you might have to exit out of the chat or something. Hessa was also next play. Hess is gold.
Yeah, I know. I know. Next plays Evos. Okay, um, C-Cat is mid. That's what I'm doing, I have Liquipedia. He might not play today, that's true. If he doesn't, it's gonna be Fury, because Fury's their other gold laner. Seacat is a truck. <laughs> Chima is their jungler. I have a bunch of notes for them. Hold on. Let me go to my player notes. I also have like how to pronounce their names and stuff. But I can only do it on a computer, sad. Wow, you can, yeah, I can stream from the room, bro. On my phone, Naisu. You wanna come join me, Naisu? We can study together. You wanna study, bro? We're studying right now. Chat, how many of you guys want an awesome Naisu and Trek stream? Collab. Let us know if that's what you guys want to see. Guilt trip him. Let's all guilt trip Naisu into coming over to my room and joining the stream. Everybody, collab please in the chat. Daddy Naisu, come on, Daddy Naisu. Wait, bro. <laughs> Got him. Bro, what's crazy is like, we all know Nice is a big guy, right? But when you meet him in person, he is like a big fucking guy, bro. I'm on the third floor, Nice. Third floor. I'll 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 bring you up, bro. I'll pick you up. Let me know when you're downstairs. Or let me know when you get to your elevator going down and it'll stop at my floor. Let me know when you're at your elevator and I'll run over to it. Coach Deku, bro, Deku, your play-by-play -play sounds clean, bro. Your play-by-play -play sounds clean. I haven't seen some of your clips, man. You sound good. Going now, oh God. I'm still in my socks. Wait, I need my key. What if I locked myself out of my room? Does this key work? Hopefully this key works. I think this key works. 
Oh, I'll just leave my, I know what to do. That works, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There he is. There you are. <laughs> we actually made it. <laughs> Bro, I'm in my socks. I'm like, I'm in my socks. We're just gonna run out there. And then that guy was there. That was, uh. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're too big, bro. Haji. That was Haji. Yeah, that was Haji and his girl. Jesus, dude. What? Messi? What the hell? <laughs> Clean Don't. your room, bro. <laughs> Don't judge us. <laughs> okay, whose side is who? This is my side. This is your side? Yo, Trex is dirty, man. No, bro. <laughs> What's up, chat? So this is how you stream on YouTube. Yeah, just on my phone, bro. You <laughs> Face is so close, bro. Dude. Yeah, I've actually never seen a. You don't fit in the camera, bro. YouTube before. Like from your phone? Yeah. Yeah, you can just. There's like a go live button right on your phone. It actually works. What I like about this is it works on shitty Wi Fi. Well, now I know. Like, even if you just have shitty Wi Fi, you can go like yeah. internet Wi Fi and stuff, like hotel Wi Fi. No, I know. I can't teach him, guys. Are we casting today? We are. Yeah, we're casting today. I can't, uh. So, uh, actually, Leo just left. Wait, oh, he left to the stadium? Was he yeah. first session? No, he just got called in. Good lord. Yeah. How many more? <laughs> so, I don't know what's gonna happen later. <laughs> How it's, many more? I don't know, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Am I wearing contacts? No, I'm not. He's got LASIK, bro. I had LASIK. Uh, I used to wear contacts. I used to wear contacts and I used to, uh, I used to, I was basically born blind, guys. I was basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard life for guys. Uh, yeah, I was born blind and, uh, oh, Jesus, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I was born blind. You want a Red Bull, bro? No. Actually, <laughs> do these make you crash? No. Does Red Bull make you guys crash? It just, I don't really crash from caffeine, but. Like, uh, I'm the type of person to drink a cup of coffee and go to sleep right after. I am too, but I mean, we're not casting till later. You want some snacks? I have them in a trash bag here. I don't want snacks, bro. We're gonna eat in a little bit, right? Yeah. I'm never gonna shave my beard. Uh, I can't shave it, guys. You got me all self conscious and I'm cleaning my room. Yeah, I talked shit about Trex's room, now he's cleaning it. <laughs> you don't have to clean your room, bro, it's okay. You should see me in Leo's room, though, it's all like... I know, their room's like, I went there that one time, it's like fucking prestigious. Can I borrow your glasses, bro? Oh, shit! He's gonna wear these today. Wait, is it no, today? No, no, no it's tomorrow. tomorrow. The analysis. You got old by hell, Kurt. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> As a young child. What's the grade in these, bro? It's very light. It's very light. Like one? I don't know. It's like maybe like one point something. Yeah. Some shit like that. I can still read the chat. Yeah. I'm not a teacher anymore, guys. Uh, I used to teach before I got into casting. I used to teach before I got into streaming. And then um, I was actually streaming while I was teaching. And that's when I became number one gourd in the world. That's... <laughs> Number one gourd in the world. In the world? In, yeah, Did global. you actually get global? Yeah. Number one global? Yeah, dude. Okay. At I mean, mythic... there's not that many people playing gourds. No, you know, you know what my rank was? What? 1,000 myth mythical glory. All gourd. All gourd. And... I bet people fucking trolled you all the time. Dude, that's where I met VWise. I met them in a ranked game. Nice. Before I was even casting. All right, my eyes. Century Tuna model? Not anymore, man. That was 10, that was 10 years ago. 
Did you open this? Is this yours? That's mine. Yours is oh. to your right. I don't know if I want a Red Bull yet. Gord God, yeah. Um, I would I would go insane if Gord was actually played, you know, in a competitive game, but I don't think that's gonna happen, guys. But if it does, I hope I'm casting it's that like game. G with um G with his uh the alien guy. Zask. Uh, Zask? Zask. Yeah. He wants Zask to be metal so bad. Do you guys think uh do you guys think the Valley's gonna win today? Or do you guys think they're going home? You know who doesn't? Oh no, you did vote for the Valley. Yeah, I voted, I voted, I was gonna say I voted for the Valley. The casters are very half and half right now, I'll tell you this. Yeah. I don't know, honestly though, if they win this, I don't know if they'll get my vote on the RQ, or on the Todak game. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. I don't know, man. Just because they already lost to the Malaysians once? Not a chance. The Valley's going home. <laughs> N.A. for near. <laughs> they don't, the guys the don't believe in Valley, mixed. man. The chat is also very mixed. To be honest, to be honest, uh, Burn X Flash, pretty scary. Hessa and Coach Zico. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So it's Hessa, who's XNXP, Zico's XNXP. Yeah. Seacat mid. Yeah. And is it Chima? I say Chima. Chima? Chima. Chima's their jungler? So I don't know what's going to happen for our desk, bro. We're just going to duo, bro. No, we're not. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know I don't know who our third's going to be. I know if it is, would be good. Yeah, but I mean, like, so the remaining days of M4, everything's going to be switched up. Not everything, but, like, there'll be some changes. We'll might have some more double shifts. That's why Leo left early. He's, he was, I mean, I'm cool with that person. Yeah, like, yeah. I want to. I'm cool with as much FaceTime as possible. But yeah, what what the stream think of your Onyx drip? They fucking love it. Do they? Onyx tracks, bro. You guys like the Onyx drip? Onyx tracks. Let them know. I need to get. Uh, I need to actually get some. Bro, oh, you, you got the echo. This guy gets all of his shit for free, scumbag. I was like, oh, I wouldn't pre-order the varsity. He's like, yeah, we got some waiting for us back at home. They just yeah. gave them to us. I mean. The blacklist jersey that I got is pretty cool. I want player jerseys is what I want. I want RRQ drip. I need like a, a OHEB jersey or a WISE jersey, you know? Yeah. Man, people are pissed at the valley in your chat, dude. <laughs> There's like a handful of people that really are like, the valley's going to win M4. Still like Ken Kaneki in there. He's yeah. a fucking super fan. But yeah, there's a lot of people that I think are upset. People, people want... Burn X Flash to burn the valley, to burn the valley down. <laughs> Someone earlier asked me that when, if teams lose, they get sent straight to the airport. <laughs> I was like, no, that'd be so horrible. I think they more so have a choice to like stay, uh -huh. but I don't think everybody would stay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because you're just gonna yeah. say you're depressed for five days. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. I might have to try streaming on YouTube like this. Yeah. I never knew it was like this. I thought I had to use a... Just know that once you, if you stream this way, you can't swap to this way after. You have so, to like, you set need it to up like start, this. You need to either start sideways or start... So I have to course. start like this. Yes, if you want to stream that way. Or if you want to do that way, then you need to start like that. There's no switching in between. Okay. All right. And like, click on more options to add, a, and then scroll back up to add a description. Mm -hmm. um, for thumbnails, you either have to just take a picture, like it'll give you, it'll take a picture, but if you want to change it, like I pre-made a whole bunch of thumbnails at home. And you just like use that? So then I just use the pre-mades, yeah. That's uh, awesome. It makes me take a picture, but then I just click on the edit and I upload thumbnail. Well, now I know. Are you, you're mainly a YouTuber, right? You don't do Twitch? No Twitch. Right. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Like, depending on how things go, but I feel like, honestly, it's just going to be YouTube. Yeah. At this point. Are these mostly all your, like, are these longtime followers? Can I ask you guys? What do you guys think of Czech, Trex's casting on the international stage? I give it a thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up, man. Yeah? I know there's a lot of discussion there about burning the valley down. But how about Trex? But how about Trex? <laughs> <laughs> No, people have been awesome. The only I got a couple comments about the uh, Haji killing machine last night. <laughs> or no, oh the, yeah, yeah. A couple of people on on Facebook were like, "It's fucking Oheb, you scum!" And then I was like, "Sorry, smiley face." And they were like, "It's okay." Yeah. I've noticed yeah. that most of the people that talk trash, if I respond, I used to be a bit more like weird, like 
almost toxic back with my responses, but now I'll just be like, yeah, slight mistake, sorry about that, and I'll put a sweaty face or something, and they're yeah. just like, it's okay, and they'll leave me a heart yeah. or something, so I've learned that just because they come off hot, it doesn't mean they're actually like, hate me. I, I So, for me, if you guys, if you guys care, uh, <laughs> It's it's really cool for me because where Trex is now is where I was basically like in MSC. Um, my first, you know, my first international event too. I was really nervous. I was really uh, kind of shaky about it. And, you know, so like Trex is kind of going through that now. And uh, just as much as possible, like after casting together in Discord, what, how many times? Maybe two, three times? Yeah, two, three. I think uh, it's it's amazing to finally cast with him in person, and I mean even meeting people like G the Ico and uh, Combat Gaming in person. Heck, even Dave, right? Dave. Even Dave. Even even, Dave. Ma even meeting Dave in person <laughs> um, has been really uh, an experience. But on the desk, like I mean. You know yourself, like that first cast when he was anchoring, he was like a little bit nervous. I told him about all yeah, this. Yeah, I'm sure you I did. Was like, Yo, nice, you pulled me aside. I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I pulled him aside and like we had a talk. But uh, Trex is gonna be probably one of, if not the best NA casters. Um, there's a lot of people out there that uh, pop off my head too. Like I would love. I don't know how this would happen, but I would love to see like private. At some point, maybe private gets an international uh, international cast. Uh, the other two guys I've been seeing a lot of clips of are Deku, Coach Deku. I don't know if he's a coach or is he a caster. He's. I, I mean, uh, he was in the chat a second ago. Co Deku, you still there? Is he still here? Um, if you are, are you a coach? He's a little bit of both right now. I think he's just like he's just kind of like helping teams out and stuff. Yeah. But I think his main goal may be to be a caster. Probably whichever comes first. Coach Deku is pretty damn good, man. I've seen his stuff uh, on IG, Steph Wheezy, yeah. uh, you know, and I, I feel like NA will be in good hands. But this man right here. It's Coach Deku. Oh, he's here? I do, I do it all. Great. <laughs> you're going to pick one, though. Yeah. One day. Basically. That's what Naisu told me. He was like, you're going to have to choose. You're yeah. going to need to host events or you're going to need to cast. Yeah. It's like, it's too much to try to spread yourself too thin. I told Wheezy the same thing last Last in ACT, I was like, yeah. oh, Weezy, one day you're going to have to choose. Like, are you going to be a pro player? Or, you know, are you going to coach teams? Or are you going to cast? Because yeah. you can't do both when can't you want to try to get to the international stage. Yeah, Deku, I've seen your stuff on IG, man. He's I don't know who's team. making it. I don't know if that's Weezy that's making those. Um, but, yeah, uh, basically, you know, you've got talent. There's a lot of talent in NA, basically. Um, hopefully you guys get something legit and you can grow there as a region you know and if i'm ever in the u.s i might just pop over <laughs> hopefully i don't know if that, you always gonna spawn on my couch bro that's right that's right you can hang out with my daughter bro there we go you gotta shout out your daughter on the broadcast I know. somehow I know. like just we're gonna slip it in there slip the what were you gonna say hey harper or like you're gonna good say night, harper yeah good night harper Good night to everyone around the world, and especially you, Harper. Yeah. Can you actually scroll back up on the chat? Yeah. Super motivation. Nice, bro. Oh! I push buttons. Uh-oh. We got messages coming in from Giovanni. I've never even gotten a message yeah. from Giovanni before. I'll be coming to the U.S. next year. Oh, wait. No, it's already 2023. I'll be coming to the U.S. this year. Are you? Yeah. Where are you going? Florida? All over, bro. Florida, South by Florida, Midwest. Bro. Seriously, you can crash on my couch for a night or two. All right, I'll be in uh, California as well. We I'm gonna wake up pretty early and shit, but you can crash on my couch for. Yeah, I'll probably spend like three weeks, maybe three weeks in the U.S. I haven't been, I haven't been to the U.S. in like, uh, I haven't been to the U.S. in what three years, something like that. Beatrix Hessa. All right, hold on, cause so it's Hessa, C Cat, Chema, who else? How is the hot Pinoy? Oh, Naman. Damino. Do you watch anime? Yes, I do. Look at my background, bro. Xeon hasn't been playing, right? No. Um, ATM is EXP. Huh? ATM is EXP. Yeah, I'm your ATM. And then D7 is Romer. Too much high for the valley. Yes, D7. It's pronounced ATM? It's easier to say ATM, but 
like his name is I'm your ATM. Right, ATM. But like if you're play by because you're play by playing, right? So yeah. like I think it's okay if you're just like ATM, ATM in the middle of the play by play. But obviously like pre game. Okay. Say you know say the full name. And then D seven is just D seven, right? It's nothing weird. Yeah. Goodbye, Trek. See you at the live stream. See you guys. I'm also gonna head out soon too, guys. I just wanted to say uh, uh, hello because I'm gonna go do some voiceover work. I'm still working while I'm in the room. Yes, I watched Chainsaw Man. I'm done. I'm caught up with it. Yeah, I'm caught up with uh, I'm caught up with Chainsaw Man. It's amazing. The one I'm watching right now, like on Mighty Downtime, is uh, Black Clover. Like I, I'm really trying. Do you like to... Black Clover? I I just haven't given it a chance yet. I haven't watched it. Yeah, I like it. But I'm only like episode fifty. Yeah, my eyes are red. No, my eyes are just like that. Like always. My you eyes are just like that. Sit in front of that's from sitting in front of computer. Yeah. Time. Like I, I've you been up some since blue lights, some blue light glasses. I've been up since seven thirty. I usually wake up. Um, I work out. I'm way. I think I'm up way earlier than everybody. I think I'm one of the earliest risers here. I know. I was rising really early the first two days at like six or seven a.m. Yeah, because jet lag. But that's where, but that's normally how I wake up at home. So I need to, mm. like today when I slept until 10, I was like, uh, I'm a fucking bum. Mm. I don't like sleeping. And like if I get more than eight hours of sleep, I feel like a fucking asshole. Yeah. Clover, so I'm watching, watching Clover, so I'm watching Cover. Dragon I don't know what that means. Fran Harley? I, so wait, I think I'm Elvis? anchoring today, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. No, I'm anchoring. No matter what you're anchoring. No matter what, I will anchor. <laughs> Unless like we get Leo or some shit. If we get Leo or Mirko, I don't think they'll. I don't think they care. I think still you play by play yeah. because it's the valley, dude. I'm play by play. It's the valley, dude. The fuck they put on there. Yeah. Can he? Uh, can he guest cast in Philippines? Maybe you know we were talking to like we were saying to Dave and uh, all the NA people like, you know if you guys can ever guest over there, yeah, it could be set up. I mean. They could do the same thing, you know, in a way that uh, I think it was at one point BTK was going all over the place. It's just, yeah. would they get to cast? That I don't know, yeah. you know? We look so good in green. I can't tell when I wear green, guys. I'm colorblind like LaFell. I'm actually colorblind red and green. So uh, sometimes if my color combinations don't work or like something's off, I actually am just uh, partially colorblind. That's why when I cast too, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, because like with all the spells going off at like once, yeah, and all the colors sometimes I can't even see, but I still just I, I do I do my best. Joel That's why I play Crew. in colorblind mode too. Joel Crew, Joel Crew, Joel Crew, Joel Crew, Joel Crew. Is it Harley or Harley? Awesome tattoo you got. Thank you. I'm gonna do my whole leg next. Are you? Yeah, Your my entire leg. leg. Yes, it's uh it's Japanese. For those that don't know, I used to live in Japan. I didn't get my Sour Patch Kids. He didn't bring it. He didn't bring me my tuna, <laughs> so it's even. <laughs> yeah, I, he, did, he didn't bring it. I didn't bring the tuna. That's fine. That's okay. We're all right with that. We brought our friendship. We, we made our friendship. Yeah. You think 2-0 burn flash? I don't know about... I mean, let's put it... I don't know. If it's like a complete stomp in game one from Burn X Flash, very possible 2-0. Yeah. If if the Valley gets completely stomped, if the Valley wins game one, I think that's pretty much, that's a high chance of how it's going to go. Whoever wins first game, 2-0 is the other team. Maybe not Burn X, just because they have the coach behind them. But like I, if, if the Valley has a bad beat. I yeah. see this game, I see that series going three games. Yeah? I think it's going to be 1-1. And like prediction wise, um, I'm gonna say the Valley, dude, right? But, <laughs> but I think it's a three game series. Yeah. <laughs> three game series. The second one I don't know about though. And then even if the Valley wins, let's say the Valley wins. Who and do they play? Todak. Todak, dude. <laughs> so, In another best of three, it's not even a best of five. So it's Is like, it a best of three? I'm pretty sure. I thought it was a best of five. I thought, oh, I thought both first rounds were best of threes. Mm. In the bottom, let me check. Let's see. Losing So, I I would feel that way too. Like, honestly, if, uh, I mean, there's been so much hype for the Valley and as someone, you know, 
partially American. Of course, I'm part of that hype. Uh, I was the same way with like, I think I told you this, like TSM man from, an, from uh, League of Legends. Like even when they didn't do very well, you know, we're super hyped for them. But the Valley is almost similar yeah, to like that. Yeah, first two rounds of lower bracket of best of three. So like what? the Falcon game, the Hawk game, the Kodak game, the RQ Akira game, all that's best of three. What? So you get to the third round. That the Valley already booked their flight? I don't think so, bro. I mean they're, they They're fighting. <laughs> you know what they should have done though? They should have brought merch. Yeah. They yeah. Sold some. Um You know, I think with the Valley it's like it's it there's a lot of things. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot of things. There's some certain things that, like, if you just watch their gameplay, I'm sure you guys watch them as well. Um, but they just need to smooth out, like, some of their some of their team play. Like, it's like team play. They're all individually great players, you know? But uh, when it comes to, like, game, the, the actual gameplay, sometimes things just seem off and sometimes things click for them. Checks want to be with me forever? Hey, we'll take it. Who's that? Oh, with Naisu forever? Yeah. You wouldn't get a Valley jersey? I would like some Valley merch. Yeah, their jerseys aren't really that cool. Yeah. Sorry, Valley. Well, they'll, they'll update. Hey, what is this? What? Oh, they have some of them have a media interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time is our show? 3.30. 3.30. Do you still want to eat lunch? Yeah. You want to go now? You want to eat now? I'm done eating now. All right, guys. Gutam na kami, guys. Gutam na kami. Masara. Wow. Gutam na kami. Kain na kami. For all you Filipinos out there, we're going to go eat. Sana all. Sana all. Marakita. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go eat, and then I'm going to do some work, and Trek's probably going to study like a nerd. Yeah. 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 Click that X button. You can. Nice is going to do the honors. I want to do the screen. honors. It, it's been nice uh, getting to chat with your chat. I'm going to have to stream on YouTube at some point. Yeah, make sure you guys follow Nice. It's just Nice on YouTube, right? It's just Nice. Just Nice. No, yeah. nothing else. Just nice. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, See bye. You guys on stream. We'll be there for Second, third match. Seven o'clock, right? Is it seven o'clock? Six o'clock. Whatever. I think yeah, it's six o'clock. Six. Fuck it. All right. Bye. How do I... Just the X. Click the X. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>